Hi, fans, and welcome to our Georgia Lottery Coaches Corner. I'm the team broadcaster, Mike Folta, and we're here with the head coach, Jeff Pyle. Coach, it was a two to one overtime win back on Friday against Jacksonville. You guys came from behind in that game uh, in the third period to claim victory. And then Mitchell Holster, the rookie with the OT winner uh, in overtime, the game winner in overtime. What did you see out of your group that you really liked? Uh, it was just good to be back on the bench. Uh, you know, we talked a lot about the, you know, the situation we had while I was gone. And I thought, I told you before, I thought it was really good. Um, but the bottom line in the end, uh, you know, we, we hung close, you know, first period we played great. I thought missed a bunch of opportunities. Our goalie made some huge saves. We missed a couple open nets, but played good. Second period, we were sloppy. They took over. They're a good team, you know, um, they're not in first place, you know, the top two of them in Florida, are, you know, battling there. They're really good. So um, we hung on in the second and Parks, he played great. And then in the third, when we finally got our opportunity, you know, again, one for three on the power play. We weren't great at times, but we did what we had to do. We tied it up. And then um, I thought in the overtime, we were pretty confident. You know, we hung on to the puck. Uh, we went through, you know, I think pretty close to six minutes. And uh, so our bench was a lot deeper too, so we could use more guys. And uh, so I think in the end, uh, Mitch had that opportunity. I thought it was great how he came out, you know, from behind the net and just kind of used the D as a screen there. And it was a huge goal for us. And it was a big goal for him too. That's the second goal in two games. So kind of exciting win for us and a big one. We mentioned the rookie, Mitchell Holscher. You also had the addition of Cameron Nault to the lineup back on Friday. Uh, it seemed like he was uh, – kind of still getting his feet wet a little bit there. We noticed that you were kind of mixing him in with uh, some different groups. What did you like out of him? And what did, uh, what was your assessment on his return to the lineup after being out for about two and a half months? I thought he was amazing. Like uh, I didn't expect, you know, really anything. I was just hoping he was ready and I didn't want him to get hurt. And I told him, you know, just play smart and simple. And, you know, he was grinded it out pretty well too. And he's, uh, you know, he plays our systems well. So, I know he's going to get better and better. He made some good plays. We had a, you know, late in the second there, we had a three on two and he made a real nice, nice drop pass to Holscher. And uh, so now I'm excited about him getting the second game. Uh, Captain Derek Nesbitt is coming off of the commissioner's exempt list with him back in the lineup. Potentially this looks like it could be one of the most complete forward groups that we've seen here with the gladiators uh, this season. Would you agree with that? I would agree with that. I've been kind of saw this coming for a while and we've all been talking about it. And it was kind of a, well, wait till this guy comes back. And if we can get this guy healthy and then, um, you know, and then all of a sudden, you know, Nalty was like, I want to play, you know, I feel good. I want to play. And I was like, all right, you know, and Corey was like, well, we should probably bring him on slow. And I said, and hockey doesn't work that way. When guys go out, you got to go out hard. And that's just the way it is. So, um, he said he was ready, and I trust him because he's been working hard, and he's a smart kid, so it was good to have him back. And then now we're getting, you know, with Mitch coming down, I knew at some point when he comes off, you know, history always says if they come off an injury up there and they hadn't played, they usually send him down and give him games down here. So he's in a perfect position to do that, jumped in, has, has done great, and that adds depth. And, again, more power play guys, more penalty kill guys, so that helps. And then uh, – you know, we should be getting Daltz back too pretty soon. And, uh, you know, so I think it's just it's really good. It's a good team and we're getting stronger. And I think the vibe, you know, that everybody has is kind of building. Another divisional matchup here tonight against the Norfolk Admirals uh, on home ice or this afternoon, uh, I should say, here on Sunday. Uh, the ads coming in, you have another stretch of three games in four days with a couple of afternoon games. Are the, li are the lines going to look any different uh, here this afternoon at Gas South Arena? against Norfolk? Um, yeah, well, you know, with Nezzy coming back, you've got Sylvester, Pellich, uh, Neely, you know, uh, then you got Nesbitt, Holscher, Kylie, Nogard, Gertler, Nault, and then Turnsey's our 10th. So we've got 10 great forwards there with depth. And then Davison, Topadich, Campbell, Thrower, and then Velio and Hayes. And then after the game, Davison and uh, Topadich will be gone because one goes to the All-Star game and Topes is getting going up to Chicago for a game. Um, so that gives them the opportunity to get up and, uh, you know, get uh, Davis is going to have a great time at the all-star game. I'm excited for that. And then Tope's first call up. He's very deserving. So, uh, excited about that too. All right. Thanks coach. Good luck this afternoon. Thanks Mike. That's the head coach of the Atlanta gladiators, Jeff Pyle on our Georgia lottery coaches corner. We'll get you the opening puck drop here in just a few moments on the gladiators broadcast network.